Okay guys, so uh, in this video, um, we're going to look at texture and how we can use texture to improve our illustrations. Um, it can make a massive difference to how an illustration can look because I sometimes feel that illustrations can look a little bit computerized if you don't just go that extra little step to uh, make it look a little bit better. So here we've got a before and here we've got an after. And I'm going to take you through quite quickly how we go from an illustration, I've just used some text here, and then a, a texturized version. Um, so it doesn't matter whether you use text or whether you use um, shapes or it, it will work on anything really. So you don't have to do, do any sort of like steps before you actually apply the texture. So here we've got our, our design. Uh, first thing we need to do is we need to uh, import some textures. So you can get these from places like iStock. Uh, iStock Photo is a good place to look. So you can see here on iStock there's quite a number of different high resolution images and it's really whatever you feel you really want to use but you want to look at something that's got quite a high contrast black and white image. Um, they will look better and they will work better than some of the other ones. So I've already downloaded some so I'm going to import these in so it's file place and then I'll start with this one. Okay, and the way we way we do this is I'm just going to turn that off because it gets in the way. Um, is obviously it's a, it's a you can stretch this because it's it's an image that's not um, defined by what it looks like, so we can stretch this a little bit. And it's absolutely fine. Um, so I'm going to place that over the top. So this will give us the edge. This is kind of like rough edge to our work. And what we do is we select it. The good I good idea to do before you start is to make sure this is grouped. So if it's not already grouped, object group. Okay. So I've grouped everything together. So now it moves now as one object. It just makes it easier when you're unpacking things later on if you wanted to. So pop that over the top. And we're going to come across to where the uh, transparency is. Uh, if you haven't got transparency, it's in under window and then transparency. It'll be down after S there. Okay. Uh, so we're going to transparency. And then with both of them selected, so we need to select both. So you can see that the, the underneath object selected also and this new um, texture. And then we click make mask and then invert. And what that's done is now it's added the paint texture to the background orange. It's actually added it in here as well. It's just that we don't notice it because this is really the only areas where the texture is being shown. So that gets us the outer edge. And it's basically a case of doing that over and over, really. So if we get another texture, file place, and this time I go for this one. And again, scale this down, rotate it. Oops, got the wrong thing then. Rotate it round. Position it. Now we'll get a bit more distortion on in the text areas on this one because this one does have bits missing on the inside. So we'll just place that in the right place. And then select them both again. And then make mask again. And as you can see now, it's added in these scratches and detail in the, the other parts of the actual image. Um, this little bit here if you get like a little bit of an anomaly and you want to move the mask around you just need to uncheck this item here and click on the mask and then you can move the mask inside and make it fit how you want it to fit so there's lots of ways of changing it around move that one down like that there we go So sometimes a little bit of tweaking is involved. There we go. And then the final thing is we're not going to use a mask this time. We're just going to use a blending mode. Um, so I'm going to file place and this time I'm going to get the this texture, which is like a um, almost like half tone sort of like texture. Make that smaller. And then rotate it round. And then we're going to position it. 
And this time, rather than just leaving it, I'm doing it as a mask. I'm just going to use a blending mode and I'm going to use overlay. And what that'll do is it'll just give a little bit of detail in these areas here. So you can see also in, in the actual text, you've got this detail, almost like a half tone image. And it looks quite interesting. So there you have it, some quick and easy texture using the transparency, the mask and the blending modes in Adobe Illustrator. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. See you later guys.